Hey guys, and welcome back to part 7. Part 7 of Alan Wake. Uh, we left off, and the lady wanted to see us in her I office. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. This is not the office. Uh, just go down the corridor. <clears throat> the corridor. Uh, read what? Missing Richard, blah, blah, blah. On a camping trip. Missing them. Okay. this maybe Come oh there in, it Mr. is Lake. your phone's on the there desk the battery was dead it's charged now have you started looking for my wife yet my men are already on it now can you tell me what happened no i'm not sure i can't remember we were arguing i walked out of the cabin the cabin on cauldron lake how did you end up at stucky's gas station I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop Alice. talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Oh, okay. Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot Mr. called Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I couldn't hey. go anywhere yet. Hey. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Hey. I Let need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can Come get on. through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Why? Quit drinking oh. For good. Oh, a, no such luck. He went on a bender just an and beat Danny wall. pretty badly. I can't move. He started shouting like that the moment he woke um, up. Parking lot? Hey! Hey, mister! Hey! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. Thank you, man. <laughs> no Thank problem, you. man. You're all right. You're a good guy. Give me a kiss. Don't let anybody tell you different. You're drunk as shit. You know, I shouldn't even be the early morning light hurt my oh, eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go fence. through the fence on the left. Hole in the fence on the left. Okay. Maybe up here? The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. I'm trying. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Do I jump over this? Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Check the abandoned car. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Goodness. Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I didn't see that. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's Come kidnappers. On, go up. I want to go up. I guess not. I guess not. Huh. Exit the sheriff station. How much you want? Oh, I thought he was gonna be gone. He was gonna go. Boom, boom. Your reader is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their. Okay, bye. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No. Of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move! 
move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Good. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Let's go, Barry. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Bad. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! I Rose is the lady. Wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. <laughs> He's on the balcony, Great. looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! What a creepy Who's smile. Max? That was funny. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a bear. fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was Wait looking here. for you. Who are you? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Oh, what's a puppy? Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Oh. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Can do. What happened? Crazy oh, no. poachers. No. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. Oh. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and seriously, I leave him alone. What you were saying yet. in the car? The forms on just the listen to yourself. What? You shot a guy, and his body just disappeared. What was yes. the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? Bye. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Me too. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh. Oh, sure. I always it's tell people It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Okay. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Roger that. Try to pull a joke on me. Freak me out? It's working. Ha ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. Really? You can quit it now. Nope. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot I'm a dude hungry. who went boop, into thin air. Oh, wait. Where was that? Oh, there it is. Coffee. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last Love month. Tooth, what was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the lab. What's up with me cutting people off? No idea. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. 
This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. He's very quiet. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Bless you. Head for Just be careful speak. with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody yokels. hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Hachi! Taking a stroll to I'll Lover's Peak. Here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. Good. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Right. Walk through the door now. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Yeah, this is gonna end up bad. Oh, shit. Anyone home? Can I break in? Oh, I can! Is there anything? Is that wall ammo? Sweet. If... Oh, what was that? In the window, there was a man. If I remember when I left off, I picked up like a full thing of ammo, like a max ammo. Welcome back to the show, folks. I As only have promised, 12. our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your Deer Fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> oh. Oh. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No um, sack race for us older yeah. gentlemen. Huh? <laughs> yes, exactly. I don't have time for that. Conversations. Oh, spooky. Oh, is that an avalanche? Avalanche is everywhere. Huh. Nothing going on in there. Better stay that way. It's a moonshine cave. Moonshine cave. We're gonna get real drunk, Alan. Kick. Kick the door. <laughs> That's a TV. Night Springs. Got it. Tonight's episode. So. I think before we go down into the deep, dark abyss of Lover's Peak. I'm going to stop this episode, um, yeah, I'm gonna cut it here, 
anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.